Today, the team tested the new right-hand drive Mercedes-Benz G-Class. Mercedes claim their Rufty Tufty G-Class SUV is ready for any adventure. And at nearly 82 grand, it better be. I love it. I what? love it. I, I absolutely love it. love it. I have huge passion for the G-Wagon. Every time I see a G-Wagon on the road, I stop and give it a good old stare. Well, it's just big and it's in your face. And, uh, yes, a dinosaur. It's a, it's a pearlescent metallic dinosaur. It just looks like something that's been born out of the 50s, a greenhouse on wheels. Would you be proud of this in your drive? I would love, I would love one of these. It's like the Pope's turned up for tea, for goodness <laughs> sake. <laughs> for once, um, I didn't get in the boots, but Johnny couldn't Tell wait to dive in there. I'm going to get in, I'm going to do your trick. Look at this, it's so deep. When you open the boot, it's a really nice, simple, boxy space. It's military chic. It's it impractical, it's old-fashioned, it's a waste of time. The interior wasn't massive. Build quality is Mercedes-Benz, it's pretty solid stuff. I mean, it is quality when you're inside, you've got to admit, I mean, it's all beautiful. They've used all of the parts bin from expensive Mercedes. It's very modern Merc. That's the thing, you dash. get in this, and this is nothing like the G-Wagon from 30 years ago. But there's not the space for modern car, it's narrow, hasn't got the good room, it's, it's just... It's just out of date. What I do know is that you don't see many on the road. No. And it is well, a bit of course of you don't. They're £80,000. Shall we go? Yeah, let's go and see how good it off-roads. Extreme. Oh, button differentials. Considering that I am the biggest pussycat at extreme off-roading, I really drew the short straw. So you that don't like driving off are now in charge of our lives going down a steep hill? Yeah. She can drift a car at 100 miles an hour on a track and be fine with it. Then she goes off-road and she's petrified. Oh. She had to sort of hyperventilate before we went anywhere. Why are you down the bottom I of the brown know. box? There's lots of room okay. my side. Why she's scared about going off-road, I've no idea. How does it feel just on the rough road? Really good, actually. Oh, really nice. solid, but incredibly comfortable as well, and so quiet, I can't really hear that engine. It's like driving around in a nuclear bunker. What's an offset side new soil? Basically, like, muddy knolls for a bit of axle articulation. Okay, it's just, just, just on the centre dip. Oh, bit of wheel, yes. wheel, wheel spinach there. There was one time where we got stuck on some sand and it sort of bogged down and was spinning its wheels a bit. It's slipping at the back, like I'm putting on the rear diff. So we just punched the rear diff lock and shot up the hill. Wow. Oh, look at that. Ooh. It's like a wow. shove in the back. It's an amazing bit of kit underneath. A uh, fancy little swim, boys. I do. Well, how deep, do we know how deep it is? Whoa. <laughs> 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 oh, boys. Now that's a bow wave. That that's, it. That's a proper bow wave, that. The car feels like it's bomb-proof. The Jeep is built to shred. It probably is, actually. They do sell them in the Russian markets and other unsettled parts of the world. There's no doubt the G-Class is impressive off-road. But can Mercedes really justify the price? Here are the scores. I don't think Johnny and Vicky could find any fault in it at all. The G is a hard vehicle to mark because if you let your heart rule your head, you'd give it 10 out of 10. When I went um, off-roading in it, it really just came alive. But of course, nobody will take it off-road because it's got a ludicrous price tag for what it's supposed to be, which is an off-road vehicle, not an on-board luxury. Ugh. It's unbelievably expensive. So I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's nothing but a G thing. I'm definitely voting with my heart more than my head with this one, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. The G-Class is a beautifully built relic from the past, and at that price, all it gets is 5. So, despite the monster price, the excellent build quality and performance of the G-Class brings its score up to a respectable 21 out of 30. Now, of course, one place where the Tesla does have supercar performance is on the traffic light Grand Prix. <laughs> See ya.